Well, our time at the beach is quickly coming to a, a close here in Oregon. It's hard to leave. I mean, we used to live at the coast out here in Washington State and uh, you get a lot of flashbacks when you're in the Pacific Northwest of what it was like to live here. And it's been a while since we've lived out here. Kind of a bittersweet. We are gonna be heading back down towards uh, Flagstaff. So we're gonna be zooming down there to meet our appointment for that. And then it's time to uh, head Same back home. to home, try to beat the weather and get hunkered down, I guess, for the winter for a while. 42 South, here we go. Coquille is on the way. I think what makes it harder this time is that now we're heading back home and our travel is over halfway done. Even with so much time on the road, you get used to it, you get into a, a routine and a, and a rhythm and you just all of a sudden start to crave wanting to be on the road and be camping more than being at home. So. Having the trip come to an end is very bittersweet. I mean, we still have a couple of weeks on the road, so it's not like it's over, but this is our turn back home road trip now. And here's what replaced the old bridge. If you're traveling Highway 42 going uh, east to west in Oregon um, between Highway 5 and the coast, keep your eyes peeled for this cool covered bridge. Right off the highway, it's a rest stop with some pit toilets, place to run the dogs and have a picnic. 1912, this old wooden covered bridge was built. Now it's pretty well preserved, except for all the tagging. I guess that's to be expected nowadays. Imagine driving through this in the old days.
rained or snowing, maybe mixed precipitation. It's at 37 degrees. This is steep. Yep, it's snowing. It is a wet snow. You can see some white flakes. Well, we hit it. We hit some snow. It's all nestled in the trees. Gosh, that's pretty though. Roads are dry. No worries. Gosh, that's pretty. 4,000 feet. 4, feet and there's a little bit of snow dusting. How pretty is that? Merry Christmas. California, here we are. Coming down the pass on I-5. A little bit of mixed precip. 35 degrees. Hornbrook. Always oh, stopped at the inspection at Holbrook as we are in California now, and there was a sign that said no inspection, proceed with caution. So, no worries. There was a monitor guy that was sweeping. What we are noticing is a bunch of helicopters in the sky. This rest stop, bright red orange trees. Golly, I love those. And amongst all this brown, <laughs> you get this. Oh, beautiful. today.
about an hour north of Redding, California on I-5 and remnants of the forest fires, but look at all these beautiful gold trees this fall sprinkling and making this burnt out area look so pretty. It's sad to see the pine trees all black and empty. After coming down out of the Cascades, it was time to stop in Redding, California to find some gasoline and get a bite to eat. What do you got? No. Hawaiian sun. Yep. Ooh. Hey girls. What else did you get? Uh, chicken katsu and some musubi. Are you happy, boy? <laughs> We're right there. You get a, a plate for XL and rice? Oh my goodness, musubi. <sighs> I love that. Oh my goodness. It's been so long. Are you so very excited? It is a plate. Oh my goodness. This is how Hawaiians eat. That's right. Goodness. Whoa. Cannot wait. Is it good? No, you don't come like this. <laughs> you just want it all to yourself. Back in the trees. Big trucking area here. Holy smokes. Look at this. Trucks lined up for days. Construction on the northbound side. Thankfully. We're going downhill now. More ways than one. But I'm bummed. So this is the park and we came in the front there. We are here. Bathrooms and showers and a big rec hall is there. Another bathroom and showers back here, but here's the interstate. And this is where they camp out underneath this bridge and sometimes she said hit or miss, they come in and steal bikes and stuff. 
So very nice park. Got a big old pool and hot tub back there. Wish it was warmer. This Red Bluff KOA is super fancy and very nice, but I read the reviews and there is an area of homeless people just outside the park that have come in to um, steal bikes and things like that. And so they always advise you to have everything all put away at night and to have some super duty locks if you're keeping your stuff outside, like your bikes and stuff. Otherwise, there have been lots of reports of people coming in and stealing stuff. Made us a little nervous, but we were just fine. There are country roads at their finest, mountain roads, single lane, rough roads. They really need some new ones. Good inclines, turns. What makes this trip to the kids super special was that we got to mooch dock for a few days on their property in the Sierra Nevada foothills. They're all nestled up in there and we got to do something for the very first time. Yeah, we got to spend a Thanksgiving holiday with the kids and that's the first time we've been able to be together on an actual holiday. So it was very, very special for everybody. So onward we go, sad goodbyes, saying goodbye to family, heading back down on I-5 South, and our next stop was Barstow, California, out in the middle of the desert. Another KOA was home to us for a night. Yeah, there was a lot of uh, off-roading and ATV people all camped out there. There must be uh, lots of trails that head out from 
that campground all the way out into the, the desert area. So kind of cool, right next to the freeway. So if you're expecting something quiet, that's not the KOA to be at. So we said goodbye to the ocean and we said goodbye to the kids and now we're headed home. We have one pretty fun stop on the way next in Flagstaff. Yep. So uh, be sure to watch our next video. We'll tell you why we have to be in Flagstaff and it's an exciting thing. So we're looking forward to it. Can't wait. See you next time. Remember to subscribe, like, and share. We love to hear from you too. So comment below. Remember, any day in the van is a good day. <laughs>